sweet dream still sunbeams finds you. Sweet dreams that leave all worries behind you. But in your dreams, whatever they be. Come on, sing it, Eric. You can do better than that. Dream a little bass with me. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Eric Stromer, Cindy Dole, where we uh, love to help spend the day with you as we improve your home and improve yeah, your life. That's what we do. Yeah. You know, we're always in search of that great aha, that, that's, that moment of genius, those products, those innovations that can Things enhance. that speak to you, things that say, why didn't I think I of know. this and this is made for me. Fabulous finds to right? have around your home. That's so it. let me tell you, this is something that I saw in Sunset Magazine that I love because, first of all, it looks like chocolate. Yeah. It's called... Garden bonbons, okay, and they come in a little box. They look like a box of Godiva or C's candy, all right? Okay. But what they are are balls of clay, soil, and seeds that are forming little dense clods. And you toss them in the garden, and you let the rain and the sun do its its work, or if there's no rain, you do a little watering and do a little spritzing on there. And you scatter them in your yard, and you are set. Instant flowers, instant herbs, they go for 15 bucks. That's a great deal. For a set of 12. Check it out. That There's a website. It's called moltenology.com. So molten, M-O-U-L-T-O-N, ology.com for these garden Fantastic. bonbons. Love it. That's a great gift, too, isn't it? It's a great gift yeah. and uh, for your gardener friends. And, and, hey, a great gift for you. Reward yourself. Now, this is something that I saw and was I said to myself, who has been in my brain trying to invent something for me? This is actually from a website called Red Envelope, and this is a gadget charger for the car, and it is a combination coffee cup and cell phone charger in one. Can you Love. imagine? It is Eric so Stromer in a box. It's totally Eric Stromer in a box because you know, I'm, I'm always on my phone. I'm always drinking coffee. So you have those two combined. What could be better? It's almost as good as the beer helmet. Kind of like that, It's huh? kind of like the well, beer helmet. So, so this thing plugs in to your car, uh, and then that goes. the cord goes to the coffee cup, <laughs> which then has the, a lid, and the USB device comes out of the lid and goes into the cell phone. So now you can charge and drink coffee. Oh, my gosh. You're recharging your adrenals with caffeine. It is so, and it looks like it sells for 40 bucks. 40 so bucks. So the website is Red Envelope. I love them. They, they have a great catalog. They got great stuff, yeah. Wow. But seriously, isn't that great? And it basically has enough to, to charge, what, a laptop? It'll do a laptop. It'll do a cell phone. What could be better? Wow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I wonder how you clean it. You probably just have to hand wash you just it. Take, yeah, you take the lid off, and then you, you can clean the uh, uh-huh. the cup part, obviously. And it just and plugs you into wipe the, out the lid. It plugs into your little DC car outlet. If I had this and a beer helmet... You're sad. I'm in heaven. <laughs> this is okay. my this is my life. That is very clever. Okay, Perfect. that's something I think that we need to add to the list. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good idea. How about the solar charger? Did you see that? That's pretty cool. Now the solar charger that also is um, at redenvelope.com, and I you know solar stuff still isn't knocking my socks off in terms of like solar landscape lights. Well, yeah, I was going to say those those are great in terms of just a quick visual, but they really don't. To Charge. me, they don't light yeah. as well yeah. as I'd like them to. Yeah. It's very dim. Mm-hmm. They're not quite there yet, but they're still pretty cool. So for this uh, solar charger, it's basically a solar gadget charger, much like your your coffee charger. But you wonder how much juice it's really getting. I guess it's going to. It looks like it has three different, almost like iPhones, uh, in a, in the shape of a fan, right. and it's supposed to be able to power any device with a USB. Exactly. You know? Huh. Isn't okay. Yeah. For an MP3, any something to keep in mind. You know, yeah. I mean, it's we need to have charging stations around the house. You could have the solar charger outside, bring it in. Now, I'm loving this wall art. Did you see this? This is really this cool. This is basically, um, well, I think that Wyatt needs this because I know he was snowboarding recently. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's it's a wall decals, and if you go to gifts.com, you can have this this wall art in any kind of decal. This one's really attractive. It's a world map. Um, again, just rub it onto your wall, and it becomes instant art and decor. So picture this. It's in, it's a, in a turquoise color, yeah. and it's every continent uh, all over the world. And you just kind of put that on there. Let me see what the price is. It's here. about sixty bucks. Sixty bucks, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a little expensive, but I mean, for art, you know, it's pop art. It's geography pop quiz art, and it, it with a, a white wall, and you put these these turquoise decals. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, and with you some... know you know what else I've done, which I love. What's that? They they sell 
uh, stars and planets that go on the ceiling. They glow in the dark. And they glow in the dark. So when the light's on, it charges. And, when, and, and every night when I put the kids to bed, you know, we lay there and we look up at these stars on the ceiling. It's just and a you dream. Dream. Dream a little dream. That's what I do. How about the night coaster? You, can I just tell you a little problem I have sure, with this? You put the kids down. You're trying to get them to go to sleep. You're reading the story. And then I pass out before they do. And then they go, Dad! And I'm like, huh! Ooh. You know, and I get awakened really... That's kind of jarring. Because I, I fall asleep halfway through the story. Oh, and, and this is the big problem. And then, I, and then I end up passing out there until about 2, 3 in the morning. And I feel like someone's beating me with hammers. And then I kind of stagger back into oh. my room. Yeah. And then they follow me and chase me, and they get in oh. my bed. And then it's I, so basically, I've been <laughs> sleeping with some body between my wife and I for about thirteen years. That's great. Yeah, it's not great. It is great. Well, so talk about talk about this nightlight coaster. Did you see this? I did. That's kind of cool. Think? It's cool. You know, you put your glass on this little stand, and it and it uh, it just shines light up through. It's a little LED light that makes it kind of easy to find anything. That kind you're of bluish for. purple haze. Yeah, yeah you it's kind of cute. Uh, kids love the nightlife. I, or the night. Well, they they'll love the nightlife ultimately when they're a little <laughs> bit older. But they like the night light. <laughs> they love. The uh, <laughs> they get a little. If they're anything like their dad. <laughs> they love the nightlife. Yeah. But I I have a lava lamp that I think is kind of cute. Oh, so does Bill. Yeah. I love the lava. Yeah. How about Wait, this? Bill has a lava lamp? He has a lava in the you office. You know, he and I, when we go to Bali, we're going to take a trip to Bali, by yeah, the way, yeah. all of us. And when we go, we're going to bring, Bill and I are going to bring our lava lamps and our caftans. Like, like tiki torches, huh? Yes. Like tribesmen. All Just right. let us nap in peace together, <laughs> holding one another. And just kind of grunting. <laughs> Perfect. Um, how about uh, fireplace art? You know, now that we have the, the Cindy Kitchen all together, and if you go to the Cindy Kitchen Project, you'll see that we have this cool fireplace with fire glass, but there's something missing. We need art above it. And I love this. So look at this. It's called Personalized Family Vinyl. Mm -hmm. And if you go again to the website, gifts.com, we found this. I think it's very, very clever. All you have to do is you take a great photo that you've taken of nature, of your family, whatever, and it turns it into this this vinyl art. And you can say, like, the Stromer family. You can, Ooh, you can that's put a cool. little message in there, right? Yeah. And um, it's it's a way to kind of personalize it with the decal. Again, we kind of talked about the decals earlier. And you can get it in black or burgundy or cream. That's, that's kind of great, yeah. yeah. Have you seen this 15-piece starter set with Case? It's kind of like a, a gardener starter kit. It's got the knee pads. It's got the no. the garden tools and, and the... Ho the uh, the hose attachment for your hose and all sorts of great little adapters. It's about uh, 30 bucks at, at gifts.com also. Okay. Check that one out. Okay. Um, and then th this is another way to create art, taking a photo of the family and making it canvas art. Now, this really intrigues me because I think it's hard to pick the right kind of art that's going to evolve with you over time. I think I, I get tired of art, certain kinds of art. Sure. So here... At gifts.com, there's a, a picture of the, the Golden Gate Bridge that some family took. But now it looks like it's a painting on a canvas. And so you could, you could take any That's of your photos cool. of, of your travels or your family, and now you can turn it into a really big, eye-popping canvas portrait. Um, it's going to be about 130 bucks, but I think that's worth it for a great big Picture. You, you know what I like about gifts.com? They they do shop by personality for teen guys or girls, and the and the categories are creative thinker guy, extreme <laughs> dude, all star athlete guy, and achiever guy. I love it. That's a That's great, great way to do That's it. Isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we hope you've had fun uh, living uh, your your dreams. Hopefully, we're helping you to get your dreams accomplished for your home and your garden and your life. And uh, we're here uh, next week. And until then, make sure you uh, say hello to us on Facebook. You can find Facebook uh, at uh, Eric Stromer and also Facebook uh, Follow Cindy or Facebook Home Wizards. And go to yourhomewizards.com to see all of the shows. Uh, you can download them uh, yep. to your iPod and uh, email us. Let us know the topics that you would like to hear about. Uh, next weekend, we're going to talk more about getting ready uh, for springtime decor because we have so many holidays coming up. Easter's coming. Yeah, it's time, the... it's time to bring all that great furniture back outside and start mm -hmm. that outdoor living again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all coming up next Saturday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for sharing part of your Saturday with us. Check us out at yourhomewizards.com. And until next time, remember this, the key's under the mat. Bye-bye. Successful broadcast. Stop shaking. The house was quaking.